Hi, this is Jason Gorman from Codemanship with another Code Smell of the Week. This week we're going to be looking at data clumps. A data clump is essentially a bunch of fields um, that uh, travel together. They're always seen together. So you might see them always passed together as method parameters or always used together in methods. We have an example here of a bunch of fields, house, street, city, postcode and country that we can see being used together in a fairly cohesive kind of way in this get address summary method. There's a hint as to what we should be doing. Um, this is a strong indication that these all really belong to a class in their own right. And to refactor this we're going to extract that class with those fields in it. Before I do the refactoring I just want to point out that um, a slight change to the way I've been doing things before. Um, instead of hitting F11 to rerun the tests after each refactoring what I'm, in, what I'm using today is a product called JUnitMax, which runs the tests in the background whenever it detects a change to the source files in a project. So it remembers essentially to run the tests for you. So I'll be using that today. Keep an eye on the uh, Problems tab at the bottom of your screen there. The way that JUnitMax works is when it runs the test, if, it, if a test fails, it reports it as an error in that window. Um, I'll just illustrate actually by getting a test to fail. So we save that file, and as you'll see in a second, JUnitMax has run the test and reported the test failure as an error here. So keep an eye on that tab. Okay, run the test again, and all is okay. Right, so we're going to do our refactoring now. We're going to extract a class to put these address fields in. And an obvious name would be address. So it's just the address fields that we're interested in. Okay, no problems reported, so we're good to go. Right, now at the moment you'll see that we've got, we've still got our getters and setters for the address fields on the customer class, which is not ideal. Um, we want to be able to set those directly on the address class from the outside. So in order to do that, we need a way to pass in a reference to an address. So I'm going to create a, uh, a setter for it like so. And then in our tests we can now explicitly create an address and we can set that on the customer. So now we've got access to it externally. So far so good. So what we can do one by one is replace these calls to the setters on the customer class with calls to the setters on the address. Okay, so far so good. Nothing reported by JUnit Max. Right. So the setters we no longer read, need, and in a minute I'm going to get rid of them, but I'm, I'm concerned about these getters. So we shouldn't need the getters either. We're using them down here in the get address summary method. And what we want to do is we want to call those getters directly on the address object. So again, one at a time, we replace each call, save the file, and JUnitMax will run the tests for me. Now, of course, instead of having to get into the habit of running the test, I need to get into the habit of saving the source files so that the tests are run for me. Right. So these getters and setters for the address fields are no longer being used. And we can very safely get rid of them. Like so. And then, as you'll see in our address class, at the moment we've got all these fields, and we've got all of these getters and setters. One last piece of business, if we look in our customer class at the bottom, we've got an example, a very obvious example of feature envy. Get address summary is only really, really interested in the features of address. So this method now needs to be moved where those fields are. 
we're going to keep a delegate so that we don't have to break the tests. Okay, tests all running, looking good. So our address, our new address object has the address summary behavior on it. And our customer object only has a bunch of customer fields and a reference to that address. So that's the data clump gone.